All right, the Iceman is back on the Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. First and foremost, check out Wrestling News Talk on Facebook, Andre Corbeil, Big Ray, Bill Apter, and everybody that's involved in Wrestling News Talk on Facebook. Uh, a great uh, page and whatnot. And definitely check out Andre Corbeil if you haven't seen him yet. Biggest, biggest wrestling YouTuber I've ever seen. I mean, he started like a year ago, and he, I think he's close to 7,000 subscribers. Awesome, awesome job, Andre. Now, this video, after Monday Night Raw, after we saw that Triple H beat down on Daniel Bryan, who was obviously handcuffed, and then, you know, the, I mean, God, if you watch Stephanie McMahon and that smirk, don't you just feel like slapping it off her face sometimes? But anyway, um... I started to wonder, and you know, it, it really wouldn't surprise me. Going into WrestleMania, um, the match between Daniel Bryan and Triple H, it wouldn't surprise me if Triple H wins that match and he goes in to the triple threat match for the title and ends up winning. Wouldn't that be something? I mean, that's, that's something that... You know, maybe people haven't thought of Triple H hasn't had the belt in what five years, and in you know, in all reality, really, um, most of the time when when an opponent gets beat down, upcoming to a to a big match, then he usually overcomes it and he usually wins. This may not be the case. We still have a few weeks till WrestleMania. Daniel Bryan will get the better of Triple H one way or another, um, but. It really wouldn't surprise me if Triple H wins that match. Daniel Bryan once again gets screwed over like he always does. Triple H ends up facing Batista and Randy Orton for the WWE uh, World Heavyweight title and ends up winning the belt. Now, with that being said, obviously, um, there would be a rematch for Randy Orton. Um... And possibly maybe a, uh, another three-way match at Extreme Rules with Triple H, Orton, and Bryant. Who knows? I mean, where does Batista fall in all of this? I mean, obviously he didn't come back not to get the belt. So somewhere down the road he's got to get the belt. But in my eyes, um, if Daniel Bryan doesn't get the belt this year and hold on to it for a few months... I really do believe that the WWE is giving him a major screw job, and this for one simple fact. Daniel Bryan has some of the longest matches on live TV or any kind of TV. Uh, Daniel Bryan, um, I mean, exerts a lot of energy in his matches. Um, he's on all the time. He's showcased all the time, and for them... To do this with him and him not get the title is totally ridiculous. Um, but then again, you know, you know, I really doesn't, I really don't know what's going on in the minds of the McMahons and 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 Hunter. Uh, but I will say this: that the corporate thing has to end sooner or later. Now, Vince isn't scheduled to come on TV till after WrestleMania, so maybe Vince will get involved uh, to the point where. Um, he comes back as a face, and there is some confrontation with Triple H, if indeed he is the title holder. And, uh, you know, they decide what they're going to do for the title match at Extreme Rules. But, yeah, really, you know, the more I think about it, uh, it's been a long time for Triple H. He's really got a lot of air time, um, and... It would be just another screw job for Daniel Bryan, of course. But again, I mean, Triple H really has no alliance with Randy Orton whatsoever anymore. And as far as Batista goes, we really haven't seen much. So it, it remains to be seen. And it should be a very, very interesting match. Um, I mean, for me, I would like to see Daniel Bryan kick the shit out of Triple H. I mean, and just to, to you know... To make him finally say you are an A-plus player. Um, whether he does that or not, I don't know. Um, 
and somebody needs to wipe the smirk off of Stephanie McMahon. I wish she'd get in the ring and, and, and face AJ Lee and uh, have AJ Lee uh, take it to her. But we're not going to see that, obviously. But, um, yeah, so that's uh, a thought I had. And, um, you know, it very well could happen. Uh, because I think Daniel Bryan going in and beating Triple H and going into the triple threat match it's very, very predictable. I mean, he could go into the triple threat match and lose. Batista could end up coming out on top and possibly Brian facing Batista and Orton again at Extreme Rules. But, you know, I don't know. WWE does a lot of strange things this past year, this last year, I should say. Ever since uh, the beginning of last year, when The Rock came in, they've done a lot of um, things out of the ordinary and things that to me, didn't really make a hell of a lot of sense, but in any event, um, it's entertainment, as we all know, and we'll just have to wait and see. So those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions. This is the Iceman on this Thursday on the Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. Everybody, have a great day. Peace out.